Okay, so let's talk about turning your horse over the forehand or turning your horse over the hocks. Let me break that down for some people who might be new to the game. Essentially, I'm going to ask my horse to move his front feet only or his hind feet only. I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. Now, you might be saying to yourself, like, I've never done this before. I don't know what it feels like. That's where I come in because I want to show you what I would do to break it down for even a horse that's never done it before, how to do that. So first, and this is something that I harp on everywhere I go, get your body very educated. And also, ideally, if you have spurs and they're used properly, it is one of the best, most efficient tools you can use in horse training. So if you're not using spurs, I highly recommend it. And I'm going to show you why I love them. I'm first going to start by asking him to move his hip away. This is what I do to personally teach it. If I want his hip to move to the right, I need to slide my left leg back and I'm going to lift. Now this is going to be opposite than anything you've ever seen. I'm going to lift this opposite right rein and I'm going to put all of my weight in my left stirrup and I'm going to ask his hip to step around and away. Now notice I'm exaggerating my body position because I want him to feel me push him over and this left front foot should stay right there and pivot right in place just like that. Good boy. So your goal would be to keep your horse's front end within a circumference that's very small. So let me ask his hip to move back to the left. And when I do so, by lifting up this outside rein, that holds him in place. And then I put my right leg back and I ask his hip to move. And when I do, I look down and in at his right hind foot and I push it away. Just like that. See my body position? How I'm kind of exaggerated right there. Now, then I'll sit back in the middle. And when doing this, sometimes what happens is, is we do too much pulling with our horse's um, reins. And so when we do that, we cause a problem we're trying to fix. So you need to be aware of where your horse's steps are going at each moment. And each, where are they? What are they doing underneath you? And so this is a great way to break it down. Now, if I have a horse that really won't move their rear end, sometimes then I will pick up my reins and then I will ask the horse by spanking them on that hip to move them away. Obviously this horse doesn't need that, but when you have one that's not moving, first you ask, then you tell, then you promise you're gonna kill them in that order. So you just make it really clear. So you need to do whatever it takes to put your body here and ask your horse to move over. Now, if I lift up this rein, that holds him up so he can't walk forward. And I ask his hip to step around just like that. Okay, that's more like the over-exaggerated version of it. Now here's the advanced version of it to where you don't see what I do. So I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna drive his hip around by not changing my body, but just moving my hip and asking his hip to step away. Perfect, just like that. Good, so that's your turn over the forehand, which is essentially the front end of the horse. Now we're gonna focus on his back end. Can I keep his hind feet still now and move the shoulder around? Turn over the hocks, turn over the haunches. We're still moving the shoulder away. What I'm looking for is for him to step with his right front foot and cross his left front foot over that right front foot. I'm going to be turning to the right. When I'm first teaching this, how I introduce it is this way. And I'm going to show you on him. He's obviously been there, done that. But let me show you how to introduce this if you've never done it before. I'm first going to walk a circle to the right. I'm only picking up my inside rein. Because when I'm walking a circle, I have my direct rein. So all four feet are moving just like this. If I pick, if I pick up my outside rein, right here that's collection so that stops him if I release the outside rein he should walk forward and turn okay again I'm gonna pick up this outside rein this is the first part of it stop the shoulder now I will open up my left my right hand straight out just like this hold it right there I lock my elbow at a 90 degree angle right here to my rib cage it does not go across the horse's neck it doesn't go up high it goes right here I just lock this position I open the door and then I apply my left leg, I look right, and I want his shoulder to step, cross, step, cross, step, cross, step, cross, step, cross. Good, all the way around. Now, when I'm doing this on a horse that struggles and they might not know how to move their shoulder, then I spend extra time, even on the ground, educating them how to move away from pressure, okay? So he needs to first know how to move away from pressure. So as I start to the left, same thing, just going to lead his nose out. And this is how I teach a young horse. Watch this. I'm going to walk him forward. 
and I'm gonna trap that right side. Let him go forward. Trap, release, good. Trap him, release him. Good, good boy, walk forward. So if your horse is struggling with this, walk a square. So I wanna control behind in. So stop, pivot, walk forward, good. Stop, pivot, look forward, go, stop. Right leg on to go forward. See, I can keep that hip right there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and wind that up. Notice I don't pull, I just put my leg on and ask his shoulder to step around. Perfect. So the beginning stages of it are, if you need to walk a circle at first, just to help your horse understand, and then you can break it down, and this is what I do. I open up the door, just like this, and when I want to condense that circle into a smaller circle and pick up his shoulders, I bump back, straight back with my left hand and put my left leg on, watch, bump, release, bump, release, bump, release. Notice my hands stay the same. Leg, leg, step around, Good. just like that, perfect. So, when you're first teaching this, remember, you just need the first correct step. Right out, once you get that, that's where you start. Don't ask for perfection. You're looking for progress. So my advice to you is be really patient and stay consistent with your timing and your tools for that matter. So get really comfortable and familiar being out of your seat in certain positions where you're okay moving your body because horsemanship is all about body control and rein management. We also have, con we need to have control of our lower extremities. A lot of people don't. So my advice to you is get uncomfortable so that you can teach your horse how to be comfortable. So good luck and keep practicing. I know you can do it.